Aloha! Aloha! Welcome to today's video where I'll be showing you a tour of my balcony garden. It's a tiny space but I really love how it looks these days. So welcome, enjoy! These are my coriander which I'm about to harvest, the first time ever harvest and I'm pretty happy with the results. I'm truly excited for this video and I hope you watch to the end for there will be a surprise at the end of it. A surprise food I made using what I've harvested. Stay tuned, enjoy! Just look at that. Oh my god, I'm so happy. Yay, I did it guys. <laughs> this is the first thing I've ever planted and harvested. I mean planting, taking care of, watering and everything in between to harvesting ever since I came to this earth. You can only imagine the feeling. <laughs> A girl is so happy. So now that I'm done harvesting, I'm just digging up the soil to allow the parts that are down to come up and just generally mix up the soil to give it a new breath of fresh air. Oh wow! I even forgot about this avocado seed that I put it in there a long time ago. It's already rooting. Um, I'm lost for words. I'm just happy. Yay! Let me plant it back and see where it takes me. Now I'm sieving off compost. This is compost I collected last time and you can see the video if you still haven't on how I make compost that doesn't smell bad just in a bucket and I put it on my balcony. Uh, so now after sieving you see how fine it looks. It's so amazing. It smells so earthy. It's just good for my organic journey and it does good for my crops so i'm gonna put back i mean pour some in the soil to just replenish the soil and yeah so that i can be able to transplant my other plants in this very soil after thoroughly mixing the compost and the soil I get a chance to admire my other crops and this time I really am kind of disappointed on the growth of my onions because they aren't really responding well I think the weather has something to do with it or I don't know because onions in my country at the moment the price is just way too crazy and they're not in a bad abundance <laughs> Anyway, onions aside, now I do a self-watering system on my avocados and this is how I do it. I just cut the bottle of a soda and split it into half. The top part I put soil and where I put my seed in. Yes, as you can see it's an avocado seed. And then the top, uh, the bottom part is where I fill it with water and then just that it the plant just gets enough water, the much needed water. Don't ask me what I'm doing at the moment. 
I just love scratching the top of the soil. I don't know its importance, but anyone who has any idea or anything related to it, kindly update me in the comment section. Thank you. Always approach your seedlings by gently holding on to the leaves and not any other part. It is so tempting to carry it by the stem, you see, like me, but always remember to carry it by the leaves just so you don't damage the plant. Remember, I'm no expert in this field, but I'm just sharing tips on what I've learned along the way. Any scraps I have, I just keep them into the grey bucket. If you watched the compost making video, you'll understand that I collect daily food scraps and store them here. So yeah, that's what I'm doing now. I then wash my daniels really nicely. Get off all the soil, all the weeds, just thoroughly wash the coriander. And then finally, because I'm really starving at this point, it's time to make the delicious newly discovered meal of mine. And yay! Thank you so much if you've stayed tuned up to this point. And this is how I know I made something really delicious. 
Say delicious, Mama. Delicious. <laughs> How is it? Is it yummy? Is the bread yummy, yummy? Oh yes, eggshells do go into the compost and be careful while crushing them because at times the shells poke.